What's poppin' YouTube and welcome to my channel, Astro Finesse. It's your boy Lil Finesse and Jiggy Hippie. Back with another video for y'all. In this video, we're talking about if you have an Aquarius rising. And I'll pause for the cause. If you're just starting on this spiritual journey, if you don't know, understand how vitally, drastically, urgently important it is to study yourself through astrology, learn about yourself through astrology. I'm gonna keep saying this every single video. So y'all understand how important it is to study astrology. But anyway, if you're just starting off this journey, I have a couple of videos I put in my description box. You wanna watch them first to become hip to the knowledge of what I'm about to talk about in this video. So if you look at your birth chart or your natal chart, it's the same thing, and you realize your Aquarius rising, this video is for you. So without further ado, do, let's get it popping, shall we? Now Aquarius rising, I'm gonna give y'all a list of some celebrities so y'all could visually see what Aquarius Rising look like and act like in reality. So to start off, we got Barack Obama. We got Nicki Minaj. Khloe Kardashian. Aaliyah, rest in peace. Shia LaBeouf. Zendaya. Mac Miller. Selena. Whoopi Goldberg. Tyga. Angela Bassett and Russell Wilson. So now, boom, Aquarius rising. <clears throat> if you don't know what a rising sign is, by the way, I want you to picture like getting a package, right? And the rising sign is your physical presentation, how you present yourself to the world in social environments, how people perceive you when they first see you, like off your first impression is your rising sign, how you perceive yourself in the world. Also, the lens that you look at yourself through is your rising sign. So picture getting a package. And now we're talking about Aquarius rising here. So the package is going to be something you've never seen before. Some weird shit. Let's say like a glow in the dark packaging or something like that. So anything that's weird and different, eccentric is Aquarius. So like to present themselves weird and eccentric and individualistic. I'll get on to all that as the video goes on. But you're getting a package. The first thing you see when you get the package is the wrapping paper. You take off the wrapping paper and you open the package. And the item, let's say it's a watch. And the item is a Michael Kors watch. The name brand Michael Kors watched the item itself is your sun sign like your core energy is your sun sign is like your brand name then you look inside the watch and the gears the way the numbers are designed everything that makes a watch different when you look inside the watch into the face of the watch is your moon sign your moon sign is your inner self it's like the gears that's inside of you that make you work the gears inside a watch to make the watch work it's your emotional self how you react to things emotionally who you are when nobody's around you, like how you like initially react to things off of emotion is your moon sign. So those are the first three things, three placements in your chart that you have to understand, that you have to know about yourself. We're not all one sign, so we have to understand we're a mixture of all 12 signs, but the first three most important is your sun sign, moon sign, and your rising sign. Remember your package, outside the package, the wrapper paper is your rising sign. The first thing you see, you take it off, open the box, Michael Kors watch, the brand name, the item, your sun sign, the core energy. Inside the watch, the gears, the way the watch works, uh, your moon sign, your inner self, your emotional self. So Aquarius rising, first thing I think about when I hear Aquarius rising, by the way, I fuck with Aquarius energy heavy because I have Aquarius moon and Aquarius Venus. So I like y'all, I love y'all a lot. Aquarius rising, first thing I think about is somebody that's like very eccentric, that's very out there, that's very themselves, very individualistic, and somebody that hates to follow the norm. They hate following status quo, they hate following trends, they like doing their own thing, like their their own person. Aquarius risings, y'all like to y'all are here to be innovative, to change how things are currently right now. So Whatever your uh, the planet ruling your sign, your rising sign, that's what your chart ruler is. So remember, Uranus rules Aquarius, also Saturn. So Saturn and Uranus rules Aquarius. So your chart ruler is Saturn and Uranus. So you do things in your life through the lens of Saturn energy and Uranus energy. Now Uranus is, remember I said this in my Aquarius video, it's the only planet in the solar system that sits on its side. Like Uranus, the planet itself, is very individualistic, is very rebellious, and that's Aquarius energy, very rebellious. The, the planet itself is sitting on its side, 
apart from everybody else. So the Aquarius rising person is going to always feel like it has to stand out by being completely different. Aquarius is the opposite of Leo. And now Leo and Aquarius, they both get attention. Leo gets attention from being the sun, from shining. Leo's kind of like and want attention. So they actually present themselves in a way like performing wise or whatever they do, they put their heart in it and they want attention for like their, their value. They want to seek value from people from what they do, like their art. So they actually seek out attention, low key. Aquarius though, when they get attention, they don't really seek out attention because they don't really care like that. Another thing about Aquarius Risings, y'all look like y'all don't care about anything. Y'all just hella cool, hella calm, hella collected, hella laid back, hella chill. People probably, people probably, <laughs> what the fuck? People probably perceive y'all as like, this person doesn't really care about anything. Very like detached, low key. Like you just have like a poker face, like the Capricorn Rising. I said the difference is that y'all are, are airy, y'all are in your head a lot. So, even though you're in your head thinking about whatever you're thinking about, thinking about the future, just doing whatever you're doing in your head, the outside world perceives you as this person's like really detached. This person's not really in the moment, does not care about anything like type shit. So in return, like Aquarius, they get attention from being different and from like standing out for just being against the status quo. Leo gets attention for, um, for shining. Aquarius gets attention for being completely different. So Aquarius is, you will find out like you probably get attention even though you do not want that, even though you don't like really crave it, you don't ask for it. Just naturally people are drawn to you because you're just so different and so weird and so eccentric. Everything about Aquarius energy is just completely different and futuristic thinking. So understand that you are like really in the future all the time. Every sign has like two words or a phrase that describes them. Aquarius is I know, so information for you is everything, which is why Aquarius energy is very social. But at the same time, Aquarius risings, y'all probably are very social at the same exact time, loners, like a loner, a social loner, loners that are social, like whatever you wanna say, somebody that loves being by themselves, that feels the most comfortable by themselves and being like thinking and thinking about life by themselves. At the same time, when it comes to like social environments or social situations they can really like talk your ear off they could be very social very out there but they feel the most comfortable by themselves because what they will realize is being a so uh, aquarius rising you realize that people are not like you people are mad different people like to copy people people like to go against like to go with the with the status quo they like to follow trends and all that and you will realize like that's just not who you are like you grew up probably the ugly duckling like grew up being completely different from your whole environment just always felt like you were a black sheep wherever you went like an alien to this earth wherever you go like you always felt just completely different and you looked around and saw people copying each other saw people following each other so like you have like a good vision of seeing the whole of humanity which is why you're humanitarians and i talk about this in my aquarius video you're human you're humanitarians for the whole for the whole universe for the whole world so you have a vision of being able to see everything from a broader prospect of view. So you love people, you love socializing, you love learning. Everything about you is getting information. You take in information, you receive information from the higher power too. Like y'all are connected to higher knowledge and higher power. The internet, everything that's new and innovative is like Aquarius energy. So the internet, the zodiac signs too, the zodiac, the science of zodiac and astrology is Aquarius thing as well. So y'all have, uh, y'all love seeking knowledge and y'all love being social and love of uh, talking to people and learning from people. But at the same time, since y'all so weird, so different, so individualistic, and y'all just naturally feel like a rebel in the society, you just feel like whatever society wants us to do is what I'm not about. I'm not about to work a nine to five for the rest of my life and retire at 60 or something and just chill. That's not what I'm here for. Y'all know who you truly are as in your or your own individual person. Nobody can really pinpoint who you are and what you're gonna do, which is why this video is kind of, is a little bit difficult to like really describe all y'all in one, in one box. What I could say that is very common and very, um, is very true about all y'all is that all of you like to be different and individualistic and have your own standard of living, your own set ways of doing things your fixed sign, so everything that you put your mind to, what you're fixated on is what you're gonna carry out a lot. 
So you're a fixed sign, and fixed signs are usually like the ones that like to do the same thing every day. Even though that y'all fixed, y'all do constantly change. And we're talking about the rising sign, so you're gonna constantly change your physical appearance, whether it's the color of your hair, your style, just your hairstyle, your the swag, like everything about your physical appearance is gonna always be constantly changing. And that's what you love. You love newness and everything that's fresh, new, innovative, Anything that's advancing to time, advancing to technology, anything that's just brand new is what y'all are all about. Y'all love just to be different and to stand out as in this is who I am. Whether you like it or not, I don't care. I don't give a fuck. Aquarius energy has that vibe because I don't care about what y'all think about me. I don't care about what y'all say. Like I am who I am. Like it is what it is. Like. Take it or leave it, I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Aquarius is not gonna change for nobody. You can't tell them what to do. They hate being owned by people. One thing Aquarius energy hates is being owned by somebody. Somebody's trying to like close them down into one into one category or in a relationship, trying to close them down into that relationship. Y'all love freedom. Y'all love just being free and doing you. Like that's Aquarius rising energy. So you present yourself. People perceive you, first of all, as being very different very weird, very eccentric, also being a rebel. And you wanna have a cause, you don't wanna be a rebel without a cause. Y'all most likely do have a cause, y'all most likely do know your purpose in this life. And if you don't know, it has to be something around sharing knowledge and sharing information, so teaching somebody something or anything that has to do with sharing your mind, cause that's y'all are very, very intellectual and very smart. Aquarius energy gets information from the higher ups, like I said, from the, from the high powers and all that, from the universe. So your purpose is to share information. That, that's what your purpose is here to do. Following social social norms and status quo, like I said, nine to five, and that's what that's the way you're supposed to make your living. It's a working nine to five and retiring. All that is the society's way of trying to make us all the same. Y'all already know deep down inside that that is not who you are. You always want to figure out your own way of living life, your own way of doing things that will help you succeed in life. Like. Everything about Aquarius Rising is doing things your own way. Nobody can really pinpoint what you're doing. Nobody can tell you how to do things. You yourself know what you wanna do and how you wanna do it. And that's what makes y'all so popping is cause like, when you're doing this, when you're being yourself and you're just being eccentric and doing what you're doing, people look at you and they're like, damn, they're, they're so different. They're so weird, but they're so like, I'm inspired by them or I like them for that. So people are gonna be drawn to you just because you're just so like, you just show yourself. Like people, I feel like people like to look for somebody to believe or look look for leaders to lead. Like followers like to look for a leader. You're like a natural born leader because you don't like to uh, reform for anybody, for anything, for any society, for any system, nothing. You like to do your own thing. So now let's break y'all up real quick. Let's look at the, um, the house placements of having an Aquarius rising. So now the first house, the first sign of the zodiac is Aries. So the first house is Aries energy. Aries represents I am. So have an Aquarius in your first house. I am an Aquarius. You present yourself like an Aquarius. And now your fourth house, the fourth sign is Cancer. Cancer represents like family life, home life, things you hold dear to your heart, mother, the past, anything that you hold dear to your heart, especially like family life and the home. Nurturing is like Cancer. So your fourth house is in Taurus. So this means that Taurus energy is all about being stable. Taurus energy does love family life a lot. So y'all really, really deeply have like a deep connection with your family, with your family life, with the past, when it comes to your family. Y'all really love being around your family. You love taking care of your family. Everything that has to do with family is what y'all like really about Aquarius Rising. Y'all love being around people that you grew up with, being around like, the past is like something y'all hold dear, hold on dear to like, you keep it in your mental, you keep it in your heart, and you keep it deep inside, and you like really hold on to the past when it comes to your family life. And now the seventh, the seventh house, the seventh sign of the zodiac is Libra. Libra represents uh, balance, partnerships, relationships. So the seventh house, the seventh house for y'all is in Leo. That means that Aquarius risings y'all are attracted to, and should try to be in relationships with people that have Leo energy. Now remember, Leo energy is, is the right opposite of you. So you will learn from Leo energy how to like, how to have like emotion kind of thing. I'm not saying y'all not emotional because I, I completely understand being Aquarius moon and Aquarius Venus that we are emotional 
as hell. We have a lot of deep emotions. We just don't like portray it out. We just keep it inside and we just keep it in our mental. But a Leo will teach you, will like, will help you learn how to be like, how to do things from the heart and just be expressive with what you feel at the moment. Like Leos have no problem expressing themselves, especially from the heart. They're just really like, they're really like, everything they do is from the heart. Like Leo is ruled by the heart. So that would really like bring passion into your life and like help you become a little less detached, a little less cool, calm, collected all the time. Like I don't care attitude to help you become like more of like a passionate person, like more of a somebody that really expresses out their emotions and their energy like that. Cause Leo will really bring that out of you. Will bring out that fun in you. Like Leo's always like to have fun, likes to get you up, likes to get you like moving, likes to get you doing something that's like active and all fun. Aquarius really get have the tendency to like really get stuck in their ways being fixed, get stuck in their ways, stuck in their head, stuck in their thing. Like they're focused on their really the career or whatever they're focused on, the humanitarian aspect. They don't really like look to have fun like that. A Leo person will get you out of that. Like, yo, let's go out, let's go do this, let's go do that. Let's have fun. Like, let's like be passionate. Let's like express our emotion outwardly instead of keeping it inside like Aquarius uh, energy likes to do. So now the 10th house, the 10th sign of the zodiac is Capricorn. Capricorns, when you think about Capricorn, somebody that, li that likes to climb to the top of success, the 10th house is on the top of the chart. So the 10th house represents your career. And now your 10th house, your 10th house is in Scorpio. So when it comes to your career, that's something that y'all are deeply passionate about. Scorpio energy is intense, passionate, gets obsessive what their gets obsessive with whatever their passions are. So you can have a tendency to be obsessed with really trying to be successful. You can be obsessed with your career. You can be deeply passionate about what you want to do, what that makes you money. Like that's what you really put your whole focus on is your career and making sure that you are successful when it comes to that. Scorpio energy is really like low key, it's really like uh, quiet too, it's very like, um, it's emotionally intelligent, so it doesn't really portray like emotions out there like that as well, but when it comes to career, you're really intelligent as in you know how to carry yourself in order to be successful in whatever you wanna do when it comes to career. So very passionate, very intense, and very obsessive with your career, like you really want to be successful, and that's what, it's in your Scorpio is in your 10th house, so add that intensity, to whatever career choice you have and it's gonna like really help you propel forward so now when it comes to physical attributes now they say like Aquarius risings have like they say Aquarius energy is like the aliens of the world the aliens of the, of the zodiac and all that so <clears throat> they say they have they have like an uh, alien type face what I personally seen in Aquarius rising is that the only uh, correlation I could connect the alien and the um, physical attributes is like you know how the alien has like really big eyes or whatever Aquarius energy to me, Aquarius rising to me, low key have like really big eyes, not like a Pisces eyes, and I get the Pisces next, but they have like something about their eyes are really like prominent. It's like really striking. You can't miss like when it come when you look at them, you cannot miss like their their eyes for some reason. It's not like intensity like a Scorpio rising eyes that really gets you and draws you in. It's more like a um, I'm in, or I, I'm trying to like find something out or I'm trying to figure something out or like I'm ang not I'm anxious but like I'm. I'm just present in the moment, but their eyes are really like really you can't notice, you cannot miss their eyes. They're really like more on the bigger side, like like broad, bigger, bigger eyes. And their physical appearance is like they are attractive to me, especially because I have Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising. I say Aquarius Rising. Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Venus. So they're attractive to me, especially because they are just so different. Like they will have green hair, yellow hair, pink hair, like they will just do things that are just out there, and that's what to me is so sexy and so attractive is like they just look like they they do what they want and they express themselves and present themselves how they want like they don't care about what you think like understand that they're not thinking about when i go in this room like a libra person would think like oh i hope everybody likes me i hope i'm looking good yada yada Chris rising does not care about none of that they're they're walking in the room like i hope that i can get what i'm getting done and get it done quick I'm not worried about what people think about me. I'm not worried about how people perceive me because I am myself, I know myself, and I love myself. Aquarius energies love themselves a lot, which is why they're really good at being leaders, at sharing information. And whenever like you ask them a question and they don't know the answer to it, they have no problem saying, I don't know, tell me more, like, or I don't know. They have like they don't have an ego when it comes to like information. Like they really want to learn things, they want to grasp information from all different avenues. So 
when you ask them something and they don't know, they'll gladly be like, I don't know, you should tell me more. Like they want to learn from everybody. Like this, like I said, they're very social. At the same time, they are loners. So like a social loner, a loner that is social. However you want to say it, hope that makes sense. But yeah, that was my Aquarius Rising video. Hope y'all enjoyed that. My next and my last video for this series is going to be in the Pisces Rising. So you already know I'm about to go in. If you subscribe to my channel, if you are a part of the Jiggy Hippie Committee, if you are a part of the Astro Finesse Experience, I fuck with y'all heavy. You already know. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, handle that one time for your boy. Make sure y'all drink y'all water. Make sure you mind your damn business and y'all be safe out here. It's your boy Lil Finesse, Jiggy Hippie. I'ma see y'all when I see y'all. Peace.